three, two, one, zero. Ignition, lift off. Bangladesh has been the Bangladesh has been the one who 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 has the one who has been the the one the one the one who the one who the one the one the one a dream envisioned by our Honorable Prime Minister, Sheikh Hasina, and a reality made possible by the brilliant architecture of our Honorable Advisor on ICT Affairs to the Honorable Prime Minister of Bangladesh, Mr. Shajib Wajid. We have gone through unprecedented infrastructural development to support our goal of Digital Bangladesh by 2021. The Rongpur High-Tech Park is a state-of-the-art high-tech park being built at Kulishakuri Rongpur. 28 similar high-tech parks are being built around the country that will allow IT and IT-enabled service companies to flourish and provide world-class services to the local and global markets. The Sheikh Kamal IT and Incubation Center in Natur is a modern facility to enable skill development and entrepreneurship. Skill development in the digital sector has been a key focus of this government. 7,880 Sheikh Russell Digital Labs and 43,000 multimedia classrooms have already been set up throughout the country. The Shi Power Project is training 10,500 women and creating women entrepreneurs. Other successful projects include the Learning and Earning Project and Skill Development for Games and Apps. The 2.4 gigawatt electrical Rupur nuclear power plant is going to be the first nuclear plant of Bangladesh. With this, we are entering a new era of electricity for all. The Dhaka Metro Rail project is well on its way to completion. Once completed, it is expected to enable 483,000 daily ridership. The National Data Center has been built under the Tier 4 to enable the large data storage requirement. The Shajib Wajid ground station in Ghazipur is serving as the primary control center for our pride, the Bangabundhu 1 satellite. The Pogda Bridge is our bravest project of all. At 6.15 kilometers long, this bridge holds the dreams of millions who will be connected to the main economy of our country. Internet has been made accessible to all with 120,000 kilometers of optical fiber set up throughout the country. The $1 billion project of establishing digital connectivity will take high-speed internet to every citizen's doorstep. These projects are converting our demographic advantage of a young population and women into real economic and social strengths and laying the solid foundations we need to become a developed nation by 2041. One of the major sectors identified by the government is the ICT sector. The government has targeted to generate $5 billion in exports and create 1 million employment by 2023 from this sector. From a small industry in 2009, it has now been transformed into a very focused and rapidly growing industry with well-structured organizations like BACO, 
with 135 BPO companies and 50,000 employment. Bases with 1,200 software development companies and 3 lakh employment. ECAB with 1,000 e-commerce platforms and 20,000 employment along with 4 lakh F-commerce entrepreneurs and 7 lakh employment and ISPAB with 700 internet service providers and 1 lakh employment. In the BPO sector, we have grown from providing simple call center management solutions to complex data-driven and technology-based outsourcing solutions. We have ventured out from telco and FMCG industries to industries like accounting, banking, insurance, health, graphical outsourcing and retail store surveillance. The software development and ITES sector has seen tremendous growth in the last 10 years. We now export our developed products and services to more than 60 countries in the world. The government has taken major steps to enable the hardware sector as well. We are seeing world-class R&Ds taking place in our country. As a result, the people are getting devices and solutions that are great in quality, affordable and are accompanied with supreme services. The global online workers industry has seen a huge participation from Bangladesh in recent years. As per the University of Oxford, around 6 lakh freelancers are working at online marketplaces from Bangladesh. We are now taking the IT, ITES, BPO services and opportunities at the doorsteps of people, even at the rural regions to ensure the government's goal of my village, my town into a reality. A key breakthrough has been the nationwide rollout of government to citizen services like 999 and 333, where the public and private sectors work jointly to create value. Successful management from dynamic and efficient public and private organizations of Bangladesh have made these possible. We have enabled local tech startups and e-commerce businesses to thrive in our country, solving our day-to-day -day complex problems with their simple yet very efficient technological solutions. In addition to that, the Honorable Prime Minister has allocated 100 crores for the startups and 50 crores for researchers to aid the innovations. These concerted efforts have led our startups to innovate courageously and expand progressively to create solutions in sectors like transportation, finance, health, food, agriculture, household maintenance and many more. The transportation sector alone has created employment of around 5 lakh with many startups offering different solutions. The financial sector is drastically transforming the way we handle our cash. According to the World Bank, Bangladesh is among the five fastest growing economies of the world. We have embraced IoT, robotics, AI, machine learning technologies, big data management, cyber security and blockchain technologies to create meaningful solutions and become a knowledge economy which acknowledges the fourth industrial revolution and takes advantage of it by transforming services to digital. This is the story of Digital Bangladesh. This is the story of a new Bangladesh that is driven by its resilience, humility and progress. We invite you all to step up and take it forward.